You know, let's take the other uh, last part of this uh, fractional part transformation where the fractional part is now on the input f of fractional part x. So it's a very simple and very beautiful transformation. Uh, what you have to do is you have to draw y equal to fx not for the entire domain but only for when x is between 0 and 1 and you just have to repeat the graph where the graph then becomes periodic. I'll explain you this why it is happening but let's first of all take an example to understand this question. Let's say it is you are drawing this e raised to power fractional part x. So just understand what I have told you right now. Draw the graph in the region when x belongs to 0 to 1 where 0 is included right and 1 is not included. Something like this happens. This is the graph and you just have to do nothing. You just keep on repeating this graph. That's it. So this is the answer where this is completely periodic. So it may not look like periodic in my diagram, but yes, it is periodic. That's it. This is the graph of e raised to power fractional part x. So the case is that you just have to draw the graph between this interval and repeat it for consecutive intervals. That is what you have to do. Why we have done so? Let's now try and understand because it's an easy transformation to implement. So here this particular portion we know is periodic because it will repeat itself why it will repeat itself it will repeat itself after a period of one because di uh, the fraction part is periodic with period one so even if you put let's say you are solving this let's supposedly okay so this is nothing but equal to actually this only even if you are solving 7.53 but and there is a fractional part outside this is again equal to e raised to power 0.53 that means that is why it is going to be repetitive in nature so it will remain same for the interval 0 to 1 and otherwise it will repeat repeat and repeat so if we immediately draw let's say another to just wind this up let's say ln like this so ln again you just have to draw the graph between 0 and 1 right where 1 is not included right x cannot take value 1 and just that means you just have to repeat this graph from now onwards right it might not look periodic in my graph because I am drawing with a dg pen which uh, makes it a bit difficult to draw but this is actually the shape of y is equal to ln gif x you just have to draw between 0 and 1 this is 1 2 3 right is it right to now draw on the left hand side yes absolutely it is right because we know so, so many of you might say sir ln ka graph left hand side to banna hi nahi chahiye tha ln ka ratta mat maro ki left hand side nahi banna chahiye tha wo kya kehta hai ln ka jo input hai this input should be positive right and we know that fractional part is positive. It is positive or at max 0. So 0 vari value hum dehi nahi rahe usko. Thik hai minus 1 pe dekho humne neglect kar diya. So it will be drawn for each and every value because it satisfies the domain now. So if anybody asks you what is the domain of this particular uh, graph then. So what you will say R. Can you tell me the answer now? What will be the domain? Yes. It will be nothing but r minus all the integer points. You cannot put integer values here, right? Integer pe value kya ho jayega? 0, ln 0 is not defined, otherwise it is always defined. And if I talk about the range of the function, what will be the range of the function? The range is nothing but since input of ln will always be fraction. For fraction values, the log is negative. So what is the range? Minus infinity to 0 it can it take 0 no it will not take 0 so it is nothing this is all negative values but the domain is this yes the graph is periodic if we want to complete this graph the graph is periodic with period 1 okay e periodic equal to 1 bola ji, but yes it is periodic with period 1 got it I hope all the transformations of their respective cases are clear to you by now